All right, before the weather goes south on us again, this is another episode of My Classic Tire. And I want to remind people, go to the YouTube channel called Cold War Motors, because that's where I have blatantly ripped off this whole concept for. Uh, they tickle me uh, in every way that's good. And, uh, I, you know, I just, I thought it was a great idea. So, I'll put a link in the down in the description so you can go check those out. What we have here, Motomaster SE, all season radial. And mud plus snow. This is a P215 65R15. Radial apply tubeless. It's funny they still use tubeless. I mean, shit. I, I can't imagine you'd find any goddamn vehicle, you know, uh, you know, trailer ones maybe, but even those. Standard load, meaning, you know, it's not for any high pressure or it's not for a truck. Maximum load on this, 686, which is the lowest tire that I've reviewed yet. And the max pressure, 35, which is more what I expect out of a modern-ish tire. A lot of those other ones said 30, but I often run 32, or even 35 if I want to get uh, some better mileage. So, this one does have a date coat on it, and uh, you can see it's full of fine cracks all over the place. Uh, the treads are kind of okay. Uh, they're getting down, but, you know, got a couple of more years of run on them. But the fact of the matter is that this tire uh, will have aged out. It says one polyester cord plus two one ply polyester. So I think that's on the that's for the sidewall, I think. Because there was another one around here somewhere that talked about the Yeah, the tread, three plies. And then polyester cord, steel cord. Oh here's the DOT number. So, uh, third month of uh, 2010. Is that what it? I thought it was even earlier than that. Because at 2010, that would only put this at uh, an eight-year uh, tire. I thought for some reason it was 2001. Almost within the thing. I think seven to ten is what. As far as buying a tire that's been on the shelf, I and mean, they have shelf life no matter what, even if they're not run. But anyway, this has, you know, this is not, it's not in, in as awesome shape. You can tell it's getting old. Anyway, these came off the 74 Plymouth Valiant. They were on when I got them. And yeah, once the Valiant's back on the road and uh, once I got some dough, I will uh, make sure I replace these. It has basically, I'm pretty sure this is, has nothing to do with centerline, but it's a cheater centerline. A cheap ass, I think the patent must have run out on the centerline pattern or whatever, because I'm pretty positive these are not them. It's been gacked a bunch. There's some big ass gouges out of this thing. So someone either didn't park right or they ran it flat or whatever. Uh, but they still hold air good. I've never once had to um, top up the tires on the 74. Because I've only owned it about 18 months now. But This says made in the USA, which is very cool. But Motomaster I thought was a trademark of um, Canadian Tire. I could be wrong about that. Uh, maybe I should go and check it out. But uh, that's as I understand. It. That's the place to get them in Canada. That's where you buy them. But so maybe they've always been made down the states. And uh, it's got the different. Not sure if you can see on this angle, but uh, the different seasons shown here. You know, basically that's why they call it all season. It's not a snow tire at all. If you need a real snow tire, you got to go snow tire. But uh, the M plus S means that it's you know, slightly better, let's say, than a summer tire or a non-all-season one. And uh, I, the, these rims actually, I, I, I kind of dig. They, they look kind of cool on the car. And like I say, there probably is a name for these particular types of uh, knockoffs, but, um, you know, it's basically what an old centerline drag rim used to look like. Sometimes the centerlines didn't have these big uh, holes on there. They were... I think the um, Studebaker might be real center lines, but I haven't looked into them enough and I haven't had the wheels off to see the back of them or anything. But uh, 
anyway, yeah, hopefully the wind hasn't screwed everything up. And uh, that's my classic tire. Have fun, people. I'll talk soon. Bye.